I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products and the author of the Death Destroyer books. I am here today with Professor Louis Blois, who is a mathematician. He's going to go over a really solid problem that I think you're going to be electrified on probability. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, let's read the problem together. A bag contains tiles, each marked with the individual letters of the word evergreen. What is the probability that when two tiles are drawn from the bag at random, one will be a vowel and the other will be a consonant? Well, we're imagining that we're grabbing these two tiles simultaneously, but we can't represent that mathematically. The way it's modeled is that we're going to look at one tile drawn and then another tile drawn. We're going to analyze each of, each of those in those two steps. First, let's look at the total number of letters in the word evergreen, which is nine and the total number of vowels, E, 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 is four, and therefore the total number of consonants is five. Well, if I take one tile out of the bag, what's the probability that it's going to be a vowel? The probability that it's going to be a vowel is the total number of vowels divided by the total number of tiles, four ninths. What's the probability that I'm going to choose a consonant if I just choose one tile? Well, it's the total number of consonants, which is five, over the total number of tiles, which is nine. Okay, but now we're going to be choosing these sequentially, all right? We want the probability of a vowel and then a consonant, all right? But that's not the only outcome we're looking for. We also have to look for the following. We can also have or the probability of choosing a consonant first and then a vowel. Okay, so vowel first, then consonant, or consonant first, then vowel. Well, when I have the word and, if I'm looking for the, uh, the probability of both of these events happening simultaneously, I'm going to take the product of their probabilities. But this is a dependent probability, because what's the probability of choosing a vowel? It's four ninths. What's the probability of choosing a consonant? Well, now that I've chosen one tile out of the bag, there are no longer nine tiles in the bag. There's only eight tiles, but still five consonants. Okay? Or I have this probability of choosing a consonant first and then a vowel. Well, same thing. The probability of choosing a consonant is going to be five ninths. And then the probability of choosing a vowel is going to be out of the eight remaining tiles in the bag. So that's going to only be out of four eighths. Now, when I'm looking at the probability of one or another outcome in a sample space, I'm going to add the probabilities. So or turns to plus in probability problems and turns to multiplication. So here is our answer. Let's, multiply, let's figure it out. Five times, four times five is 20. Nine times eight is 72. Five times four is 20. Nine times eight is 72. So what's our solution here? It's gonna be 40 over 72. Uh, let's reduce that half of 40 is 20. Half of 72 is 36. Four goes into 25 times. Four goes into 36 nine times. And there we have, the answer is five ninths. Okay, very well done. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you in study group. And if you have any questions, let us know. Good day to you.